Every action has equal and opposite reaction. It's not just the law. It's true in every aspect. Good morning everyone. My topic here is science. Boon or curse. Science is everywhere. Today we are living, we are breathing, we are eating. That's all science. The nuclear power, the electricity, the air, the water, everywhere, everything is science. It's just we have discovered it all. Today, we can uh, sci science has developed in many aspects. The letters has been changed to email. Email has been changed to WhatsApp. Now, we have a device by which we can connect to any part of the world. We can see any part of the world. We can look what is happening in the world. That is mobile. That is uh, everyone have one mobile and he can access all the things in the world. Not only our lives, but in the, if I talk about space technology, space missions, we have done and earned uh, so far so well. Today, by sitting on the earth, we can see earth from moon. We can see earth from Mars. Even we have launched many mission for missions for probing Mars, Saturn, moon. And we are launching Aditya L1 from ISRO only to uh, study the sun closely. It's all science and science has made our lives really easy. Now, as we know, every coins have two faces. And I told, as I, speak, uh, I spoke in the beginning, every action has equal and opposite reaction. For making our lives easy, we, have to, we are destroying the motherland, our motherland, which we have to conserve. Just for sitting in a room and uh, feeling the uh, chillingness from the AC, it is not, uh, it is, it is very easy, like, uh, but it leads to the global warming. It leads to the uh, uh, sea, sea level rising. It is leading to the ozone depletion and much more. We are enjoying the benefit of science, but on the other hand, we are destroying our motherland. Miss Greta Thunberg from Sweden recently gave a very nice speech on UNCCC and told the world that yes, you are ending the, you are not going with the sustainable development and you are ending the resources for the children like us. She is just 16 years old but have many rich concerns. So I would, uh, here I would like to conclude my topic by saying we can save the earth today but tomorrow will be too late. Thank you.